Rishi Sunak is Britain's third prime minister in the space of just two months, and he inherits a daunting set of problems in the wake of the brief and chaotic tenure of his predecessor, Liz Truss. Some mistakes were made. Sunak's message, I'm here to fix those problems. And that work begins immediately. I will place economic stability and confidence at the heart of this government's agenda. This will mean difficult decisions to come. Rishi Sunak warned of the profound economic challenges that the UK now faces. Now, as he sweeps into Downing Street for the first time as Prime Minister, it's time to set out his agenda. Addressing the question about his mandate to govern after so many changes of Prime Minister without an election, he put the election-winning 2019 manifesto at the centre of his programme. And in a perceived swipe at both Boris Johnson and Liz Truss, Sunak admitted, I have work to do to restore trust. This government will have integrity, professionalism and accountability at every level. Trust is earned and I will earn yours. On the same spot just 90 minutes earlier, Downing Street had seen the departing speech of Liz Truss, the shortest serving prime minister in British history. After just 50 days in charge, there was little for her to claim credit for, so a short speech ended in a simple platitude. I believe in the British people, and I know that brighter days lie ahead. Thank you. Sunak's elevation to prime minister has received congratulations from around the world. The US President Joe Biden described the first British Asian prime minister as groundbreaking. Pretty astounding. A groundbreaking milestone, and it matters. It matters. And from the European Commission chief, Ursula von der Leyen, we count on a strong relationship with the UK to defend our common values. But in Russia, the Kremlin said it saw no grounds for hope that there'll be any positive changes. Sunak had promised to unite all the talents of the Conservative Party and not just give jobs to his allies. His first ministerial appointments also emphasise continuity. Jeremy Hunt will stay as the Finance Minister. James Cleverley retains his post as Foreign Secretary. And Suella Braverman returns as Home Secretary. Stability and confidence, it seems, to replace turbulence and division. Paul Brennan, Al Jazeera, Downing Street.